We're here with Angela Shields, who's the judge for this year's annual high school and middle school art show. Angela, you've taught for how many years? I taught for 25 years in Roanoke County. Did five years of gifted art screening after that. So, so she's 30. got all the credentials, plus she's a working <laughs> artist. So she's come up from Roanoke to judge our show today. And we're standing beside a piece called Color by Mackenzie Snook and it won Best in Show for the middle school students. You want to tell us a little bit about why you chose okay. this one? Well, this caught my eye because of the color. And it, look at it. I mean, look at the beautiful colors. They are so well balanced, though. And they're blended. The colors such as, this isn't just pink. It goes to the blue mix, which is so nicely done for a middle school student. That's exceptional that they have an awareness of blending colors. So a real eye for design in it too. Thought it was a well done, it was an eye catcher. It was okay. very pleasing. The exhibit is sorted by categories according to media and the mixed media collage category is quite large. And so there are several prize winners in here and Angela, why don't you talk about the cat with the blue eyes for a second? Okay, if you look closely, you'll see in the background that there's all kinds of papers have been glued on, and then the cat is painted over top, and it just made a really nice effect for collage. And then the one beside it is a real eye catcher too. Uh, it's a goat, and it's it's, it's made everybody who comes in when we were working on the show, hanging the show, everybody came in and just cracked up laughing and at this smiling. one. So <laughs> it it different kinds of awards. This one got the the amusement award from everybody who's come in. <laughs> But there are several really nice pieces in this show, and particularly in this category. We're here at the table that has sculpture on it. Sculpture in this exhibit refers to anything that's three-dimensional, but does not have a particular function. It's just for decoration. And I think these bobbleheads are so cute. They are. I taught art you know, for 25 years, and I taught ceramics in some of the classes. And I was just so amused because I never thought to do this. I thought it was so clever. The heads move and they just bobble around. And that is, but all it is is just placed on top. And what a clever idea. But they're so well done. The glazing, look at all the detail on the glazing, how well it's done. And that's not easy to do. Getting yeah. a good glaze yeah. is a real hard thing, especially for a middle school student. I think this is exceptional. I think this, this is probably the best yet with the middle school student show. Is that right? Yeah, yeah that's great. Now we're going to switch gears a little bit and we're going to talk about the high school exhibit, which is in the back part of the gallery. Angela, you chose Paradise by Sienna Babayan. Tell me what about this one? Caught your eye. Again, this was an eye catcher with color. And it had brilliant color, but it's done with the Impressionist style and pointillism. It looks like 
the effect is pointillism with dots of color and it takes a lot of patience to do that and an eye for color mixing and keeping the lights and darks there and giving a good balance but it was very dramatic and very eye-catching so that's what caught my eye and I think people will find that to be best in show. It really got does glow. Yeah. We're here at the uh, high school work and this large piece is called The Fish Pond. It's by Ellie Dobby, Dolly High and that's an eye catcher. It is. One thing because it's large catches your eye because of its size and then the color. It's very pleasing in color. The blue is very colorful and then the fish and that's a very pleasing subject matter but it's really well done as far as the movement Notice how the paint comes down, which suggests water movement down the page, down the painting, down the canvas, and it leads your eye from petal to petal, from frog pad to frog pad, lily pad, it's, and just beautifully done with color and nice, nice painting. We have an assortment of both ceramic sculpture or ceramics, which is a functional product, so something that might have a use, like a cup or a bowl, and then the sculptural pieces. And most of them are ceramic, except for the um, bust on the back by Nicole Fry. So tell us a little bit about what you found with this show. <laughs> well, I was impressed with the ceramics. They're really well done. So I think the art teacher needs to be commended for that because that's something that's in addition to your other things in class and it has to be fired, has to be glazed and fired. And it's quite an involved process and to turn out such beautiful things. Not easy to get across to kids. You can't have it real thick because it'll blow up <laughs> and that kind of thing. But look at the shapes of things that would caught my eye being such a cute doggy, Rufus but it was cleverly hollowed out and it can be used to put flowers in or something. I thought that was clever. And just the detail on this one, very carefully done. And again, detail in ceramics is hard to do, especially when you do glazing over top and getting that kind of detail. Nice piece of sculpture back here, the bust. And that was sculpture and not ceramics. It's okay. a different category, but that was very nicely done. Getting the proportions of the face really well done. Nicole Fry really likes doing he heads and people. Oh, okay. So I'm it, sure she enjoys doing that too. It shows for that. And plus the finish on it, it's not a glaze. It's more of a, a, a tint to it, just a glaze over top light, but it's not a fired glaze. So that, that really enhanced it, especially the way they did the color on the hair as an addition. So that was very nice. And okay. plus the little detail things here with tic-tac-toe. I guess that was the assignment was mm -hmm. a tic-tac-toe board and how clever they were interpreted in different ways. So you'd have to look at them up close and really see the detail. One, this one with the sushi to go, the fish that were in it, the details and that. And the one with the baseball and the footballs and the cat that was here, very clever. Several entries in the fiber category this year. You want to tell us what caught your eye on this felted piece? Okay. Well, first of all, when I first looked over it, I missed this one. And then I came back looking again to see, you know, everything. I always kind of go back through. And this one caught my eye and it's called Pink Light. And it's done with the fiber uh, felting shreds across with color. And look at all the color that's in it. And with the composition is so well done, but it's beautiful. And you get these, it almost looks like a painting. The way it's done. <laughs> yes, I, I don't, I haven't done felting myself. And I have seen some in galleries where they're beautifully done. And this one was. Um, the one next to it is in contrast to it that is stitching and it took a lot of detail work on it. I thought that was an eye catcher as well. 
and there was some more on the wall here that were very colorful. I was surprised with how much, how many of the fiber art things were in it. That was really I nice. never know what we're going to get, yeah. and it's always a wonderful mm -hmm. surprise when it comes in. Just a nice addition to students being allowed to be creative, and what they come up with always amazes you. Yeah.